the building as you see here uh, may look rather complicated to you, but then uh, the program for this building is an extremely complex one. Uh, in fact, the, some of the earlier designs, uh, many more times, com more complicated than this. But we then had to go through a period of trying to simplify it. First, you have to solve the problem. And if the problem is a com complicated problem, then the building will result just that way. But then after that, we have then have to simplify it. We have to then to eliminate the unessential. The building is designed in a number of clusters of towers uh, interconnected by a two-story base building. Now, this is deliberately uh, created for this program. Uh, the, the scientists, we've learned, uh, like to feel that they are working in a small group. Now, here, we have three or four hundred scientists. Now, obviously, to break this huge group into small groups, uh, this cluster is a solution. Because of this tremendously bright light that you find here in, in Colorado, we've deliberately tried to use as little glass as possible. Uh, in places where we have large glass areas, we have to provide sunshades in order to cut down the intensity of light. A light plays on the surfaces of this building, uh, more so than you normally find in other parts of the country. Uh, the, the brightness of it uh, has a tremendous effect on the building. And the constant change of light changed the building. And consequently, in our design, we are very much preoccupied with what the light will do. And this is important. Scientists, I've learned, are individuals. And uh, we find that uh, we've got to find a way of solving this problem so that the individual comes through. So consequently, there's a lot of uh, variety here uh, created to enable different scientists to really to, to find his own niche. Uh, within each cluster, there are only uh, a fraction of the, of the total scientific community here in Ankar. Uh, and, and, and they are uh, very intimately uh, related to each other, but at no time do they have the feeling they're in a building uh, where there are three or four hundred scientists, for instance. Now, this breaking down of the scale of the, of, of the scientific community uh, was an important uh, assignment to us. On the other hand, these clusters are, are interconnected, so that you can go from one to the other uh, rather easily, if you know how, and the scientists work here do know how to get around.